So at this moment, we are going to lift up our holy hands and thank the Lord for everything that he has done for us. We are going to thank him for the growth that we received ever since we stepped our feet in this holy ground. We are going to thank him for our man of God. We are going to thank him for the church. We are going to thank him for the vision. We are going to thank him for how big the vision is. We are going to thank him for our families. We are going to thank him for our loved ones, those that are far and those that are near. We are going to thank him for our families. We are going to thank him for our parents, our husbands, our wives. We are going to thank him for the word of God that we come here to receive every, every Wednesday and every Sunday. We are here again to receive another one. But we will not go back the same way we came. Lord, we are grateful. Open your mouth and begin to thank the Lord. Thank the monarch of the universe. A man of God has taught us how that death given is a password. Recon Capica Panipate. I, Lord, I 
as long as I live, Lord, I shall continue to thank you. You are worthy of the thanksgiving. You are worthy of the thanksgiving. You are worthy of the thanksgiving. No man can do that which you do for us. No man can do that which you do for us. No man can do that which you do for the church. No man can do that which you do for a man of God. No man can do that. Hey! Come on, 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 come on,
I'm 
Ben Amalati, Rati Kapa Ikapa Oni Namate, Rapa Baba Bosef Ataina, Mebam Bred and No Shatalabai, I Red Eco Sopatine, and Bilem Prepati Compella Katina, Raki Papa Bosif Red Alemoti, and Prabed No Shatalabalaba, Raka Baba Baba Bosina Malate, I Red Eco de la Capalica Latia, Red O de Lema and the Lema Dusenama, and Prabba Baba Baba Bosanaba. Ayo, 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 ayo. Somebody lift your hands and worship him. Give him praise. Give him all the glory. Labrador Sekali Nanama Shatali Gude. Yeshua. Hamashida. Lion of Judah. Hagune Chamber. Yeshua, Amashia, Lion of Judah, Lion of Judah, Agune Chamber. the glory. Only you deserve the glory. Ah. Someone lift your voice and declare to him. Agune Chamber. Oh. Yeshua. Someone say. Yeshua. Amashira. Amashira. Lion of Judah. Oh. Agune Chamber. Yeshua, Yeshua, Amashida, Amashida, Lion of Judah, Lion of Judah, Agune Chamber, Agune Chamber. Somebody give Jesus some shout of praise. Are you ready? To, are you ready to give God some praise this evening? Are you ready to give God some praise this evening? Hallelujah! Let's go. They are the works of men. You are the only two God. There is no like you. Sing, sing, all oh the God. Oh Lord, oh Lord, the God. They are the works of men. Sing, oh Lord of God, oh Lord of God, they are the works 
you, Jesus. You are the reason. You are the reason. You are the reason. You are the reason. Hey, why am I here to say? Only because of you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You are. You are. You are. The work some you are you are the only one. There is no like you. There is no sing, like sing. you. Oh, so Let me see that dance is stop. This is now to enter the realm of the spirit. 
Who sits on the throne? 
for us and not to the land. be blessed and glory and honor and power forever be blessed
The Bible says to break up your fallow ground. Come on. Sing it, come on.
They will not slow you down. It's not possible. The hand of God is on you. Speed, speed. service come on something is going to happen your hands. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Be exalted tonight. Be glorified. And now again, our hearts and our minds are open. We bring them together every department of our body of our body of our soul of our spirit to the obedience of your word we refuse distraction in the name of Jesus Christ the word of God will produce mighty result in our lives yes and at the end Christ will be glorified yes Lord, you have been so good. You are so good to me. Oh, Lord, you are excellent. Tell him.
my life. Celebrate him, celebrate him, celebrate him. Find yourself a seat and sit down. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, praise God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Bialele imama chineke kone lua ebe mo bialele. God. Tonight we are going to consider something from the Word of God. And I have no doubt in my mind that it will bless us. Praise God. Now, how we treat the Word of God is very important. I'll give you an example in 1 Thessalonians chapter 2. And we go through 1 Thessalonians chapter 2. Get your own Bibles. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2. And go straight to verse number 12. Paul's experience when he got to Thessalonica. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 12. He says that you would walk worthy of God. Who had called you unto his kingdom and, and, and. He says in verse 13. For this cause also. Thank we God without ceasing. Because. Why was he thanking God? Why was he thanking God without ceasing? It is because when you receive the word of God, something is coming here. It's going to show us something. It's going to show us the attitude of the people when the word came to them. It says, I'm thanking God without ceasing because when you received the word of God, which you had of us, you received it not as the word of men, but as it is in truth, the word of God, which effectually worketh also in you that believe. So it's important how you receive the word. It says we like the attitude we saw with you when you received the word. Not when you heard the word, but when you received it. There was an attitude they displayed when they received the word. He said you did not receive the word as the word of mere men. He says but you took it as the word of God. And that word worketh effectually in you that believe. So when we find someone who sit or sat under the word and there is no result we need to check if the person truly received the word because sometimes familiarity will choke the revelation 
Familiarity will choke the power of the word. You say, but we came together. We met yesterday. We saw the day before. We ate, the, we drank the same Coke. He says, the way you received it was very beautiful. You did not receive it like the words of men. You cherished it and took it to heart. And that's the reason it produced result in your life that became effectual in working. Effectual. Not all words are effective in the heart of those who had received them. I think on Monday or so, I was talking to this little group. I was talking to them about the Berian Christian. There is something about the Berian Christian, the Berian believer. The Bible says they always would go back to search if the words they heard were true. I think we're going to begin to scrutinize some things in this church. So when you say you want to see me and you say you have an issue, I will first ask you, what have you done? Because many people just stand there, pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. So I'll begin to ask you, what have you done? You tell me what exercise you have put in. Because 98% of the people who stand to say, pray for me, their answers came during the message. The answers were in the message. Because I stand here, I'm the pastor, and I hear them. The declarations carry their answer, but they were thinking about something else. Their mind was in the business. Some people are in service, but they are warming soup. I'm the pastor. Stand here. I see that. Pray for me. Over what? Something that was in the declaration. It's there. It's like the message carried the answer. And you find someone say, sir, just pray for me. And you'll be like, for what? And I was feeling somehow. Me too that wants to pray for you, I'm feeling somehow. That song, that songwriter, that woman, she said, There's a way, the thing is doing me somehow too. What have you done? It is a casual relationship, the casual way that we relate with the vessel that brings the word, that makes the word of God inoperative in our lives. I've taught you here, and I want you to hold it. The reason why many men and women of God are scarce to their people is to help the people. Proximity can be a curse. Access, too much access to the vessel carrying the word can be a problem. You know why a lot of people receive easily when they get to healing school? Because to get to the healing school, if they finally will accept your form, so you have been seeing the man all your life on TV, or finally he's standing before you, you would receive. You would have received. <laughs> you would have what? Received. Then he now stretches his hand and touched you. You receive double. Have you gone to redeem camp? See the distance between the poop, the altar, and where the congregations are sitting. You would have received. So when it stand there and say, Daddy said, those of you that are having house issue is solved. 
he will shout because you can't see him. That's the only place. And from there, he comes down. Shh. It is to help the faith of many people. It's helping the faith. But when you begin to see and he's walking past you, you just say, is he the one that will pray for me? He says, so all those things I was hearing, this, this person said, ah. Before I delve into the message, let's talk about this one. thing. Because majority of you here are having one thing or the other that you say you are dealing with. But you don't know how. What means are you using to bring solution to that problem? Uh-huh. Don't say, but pastor will not understand. It's because he's a pastor. I want to know that there are many pastors that don't understand. There are many broke pastors. You know that? There are many rich pastors. There are many wealthy pastors. There are many influential pastors. And there are many pastors that are in the village. So don't say, he's still pastoring. He's calling. So don't try to say, well, pastor will not understand. He has eaten. You get what I'm saying? No, because that's the mindset. They say, you don't understand. Pastor, your side is soft. <laughs> your own heart, Abby. We're bringing it. There are some pastors. I will show you. Give you some example. You walk from here to somebody, you will see a pastor. Who is actually begging? He has the same Bible that Bishop Oedipo has. His Bishop Oedipo, they didn't have double Genesis. It's the same Genesis. So why is that one suffering and this one? That means there's something he knows. There's a way they take the thing that is different from the way you and I. I always will say, is the secret here? That's my question. That's the way I, pray. I talk to God. If I will speak in the language I understand, I will say, God, you are not a respecter of man, which means you are not partial. Definitely, there is something here. The, the answer is here. You must cause my eyes to see it. Hold on. If this is all I will say tonight, I will close. We'll go home. Your madness, the solution is here. Mm, that thing that is disturbing you. That your answer is here. Is here. We are looking at the power of meditating on the word. That's tonight's service. That's the, that's the topic. I want to talk to people that are serious. People that are ready. Maybe they were not serious on Sunday. But from today, they want to be what? Serious. You know they say data is life. Hmm? It's a slogan. Honestly speaking, data is distraction. This is just to the mature, the ones that have matured. Because the reason you want to assess Facebook is because you have data. When you are dataless, you look for God. All the news, the information we have gotten, have you heard it has not helped us? Let us now stay on something that can help us. Meditating on the word of God. Every religion in the world has a form of meditation. You know the world wants us to believe that meditation started with them. 
But the truth of the matter is, meditation is older than man. Meditation started with God, in God, and through God, and in him. God is the originator of meditation. It was first mentioned in Genesis chapter 24, verse 63. And I'm going to show you the difference between our meditation and the meditation of the world, another religion. Every other religion you find have their own kind of meditation. They either start gazing at an object or they are looking at something to meditate. Have you ever asked yourself why the rosary was given? Why the Roman, when they took over the church, carved out what you call the rosary? Have you? I think it's going to be an assignment for you. Because sometimes we can stand on a particular fence and criticize some things until you begin to, yes, he might not have his modulation in the word of God, but before the late prophet T.B. Joshua died, he had what he called faith bracelet, more like a rosary too. They wear it. And they use it to pray. Do you know what they pray? More of you, none of me. 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 It's helping them to meditate. To kill every other distraction in the environment. And to stay focused. You may not understand that our society is wired in such a way that meditation is difficult. Sometimes the reason why certain people go to mountains or desert is not just to go and pray. One of the reasons, that, that retreat is good. You go there three days, five days, just sit down. Don't even see anything. Don't see anybody. Just be seeing leaves, trees. It will help your, it will help your mind and your nerves to just calm down. To understand, listen, those are the places where you need to study the book of Proverbs and Ecclesiastes the more. To understand the end, the end of all mankind. So they derive it. They look for a way for man. Look at something. And Isaac went out to meditate in the field at the eventide. In the field. He went, this is the first mention. He went to meditate in the field. Not in the classroom. Meditation and thinking are not the same. Because when it has to do with thinking, which also, part of it has its branch in meditation, so I'm going to show you. But sometimes we think aloud. Somebody says, I'm thinking, I'm just thinking aloud. In meditation, you don't think aloud. Thank you, Jesus. Are you there? We're weak because we can't produce that. We're so weak, we can't produce the result. And Isaac went out to meditate in the field at eventide, and he lifted up his eyes and saw, and behold, the camels were coming. He went to meditate in the field he sat down he didn't go there to pray he didn't go there to worship he went to meditate the bible says look at it verse 63 and he went to meditate he lifted up his eyes and saw because i'm going to show you the the the, the order here how it goes 
When you meditate, the Christian biblical way of meditation, it causes your eyes to be lifted up and you begin to see visions and revelations. You will see possibility in the midst of impossibilities. You will see there is a way out of that your problem. So the next time you come to me to tell me, sir, this is what the doctor said about my womb, my heart, my liver, my blood. I want to ask you also, what have you done? Before you assess prayers from the man of God, I want to ask you, what have you done? Because over dependent on our prayers is making us lazy. What have you done? It's easy for us to find a believer who will just come out and say, I'm, I'm, I'm going to fast for one week. And in that fasting, you do hunger strike. It's just hunger strike. Then once in a while, you wake up, you sleep. Waiting for the time where you eat. True or false? The tongue alone, the way it's sounding, will show you that the, the answer is far. Why is chica inside the thing? Joshua chapter Are you there? Verse 8. We do not know that the art of meditation, there is power in it. There is power. The Bible says that it is life to those that find it. That means there is a secret embedded in the word of God that those will find it. As long as you are born in Africa, here, outside Christ, poverty is your middle name. Yes. When you see anybody who thrived and succeeded in the soil of Africa, shake the person. You broke through something. Because there are no parameters made ready to help you succeed. The government are your greatest limitations. Your environment, your family. Your father is not happy. Your mother is angry. Your uncles are wicked. The school you went to, they strike. You finished, they didn't give you a certificate. So there's a lot of stress and anger. Your landlord has used your picture to do you. So there's every area. Are you getting what I'm saying? You finally got a job, they are owing you seven months. You went to borrow money from Lapo to start business. The interest. So every angle. So don't try to make it look like, well, I... I it's because your family is better. No, no, no. No, no. They walked. They did something. I'm showing you how. This guy is standing here talking to you. There was a time I have no suit. So don't think I woke up. 
And suit will just come, hey, my son, wear it. No, no, no. A thousand times, no. And I never begged, begged. No, sir. No way. We don't beg. It's a principle imbibed in my DNA. I don't beg. I won't beg you for oil. I will not beg you for Maggie. I will not beg you for shirt. I won't beg you for tie. I will not beg. So have you eaten enough? Be intentional about certain things. Put toothpick in your mouth even though you are hungry. But I want to show you what you should be doing. Hunger does not kill. It makes you have sense. Overfeeding, they make young guys, they query, query. Most of these kids make us, this is too much. See, when you chop too much, do you know that ideas come in the midst of hunger? When they don't, they, you know, the guy say, I was insulted. They say, I'm, I'm useless. I say, he say, it was after the insult, my eye just opened. You see? Revelation comes when you are insulted. That's why our parents, if you have some of those Af real African parents, not all these modern day 2024 parents, real African parents, you come back, they say somebody insults you. Your mother will just say, hey, I will be that. As you are coming close, she's using broom to chase you. Go back and insult your own. And you are coming yet. You must win. They say, <laughs> how many of you are getting what I'm saying? Because sometimes some of us are just, there's a way we, we, we follow the word. Pastor, pray for me. Yes, brother, share it. Brother, share it, brother, share it. So, brother, brother. All right, let's do it. This book of the law, it says, shall not depart out of thy mouth. So now, there's an assignment given to you. That means you must put the word of the law in your mouth. Can I tell you something? It cannot be in your mouth except it first enters your memory. You must have read it to yourself, stored it somewhere, then you can now bring it out. It says, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. What am I to do? But thou shall meditate. Listen, he's showing you how it will get to your mouth. Thou shall meditate. How many times? The prescription is day and night. There is a prescription there, day and night. Somebody say day and night. The prescription is day and night. Day and night. What have you done in the morning? Did you do anything? In the night, did you do anything? Day and night. What was in your mouth? What was in your mind before you went asleep? You shall meditate. The prescription is day and night. As you meditate, it will cause you to do something. Remember, the Bible says in Genesis 24, 63, as Isaac meditated, the Bible says his eyes open. Watch what happens when you meditate here. That thou mayest observe. So the first thing meditation does is to open your eyes to begin to see things. All of a sudden you are seeing realities. All of a sudden you are seeing possibilities. You are seeing the truth behind the children that surround your table. Like you are seeing it. There's a whole lot of laziness with us. We don't want to get involved in certain things. We just want it to be done. Do it for me. Do it for me. Do it for me. Do it for me. That thou mayest to observe according to all that is written therein. Watch this now. Watch what will happen. For then... When you must have meditated and observed, then thou, God is not included in this thing. Can you, sh he's showing you the power that is in meditation. God is not here. He didn't say then God will arise for you. Mm. He says then thou, you, you shall make your way prosperous. Oh, I thought it is God that will prosper me. The secret is there. You prosper by your level of meditation. Stay there.
Be waiting for manna. Stay there. How much is your salary? The economy is so tight. Even if they pay you 70000 I was discussing with Bronny the other day. We were just talking. I said, see, do you know? I said, do you know the worst thing that can happen? I said, I just wish my people would understand. Listen to me. Let me open your eyes to something. Anybody paying you salary in this time is not helping you. And if you depend on salary in this season, you are not helping yourself. I'm not saying you tell the man not to pay you. Because you have agreed before now. Hold on. What I'm saying now is now that you know this, it's time to start praying, opening your eyes to the realities and say, God, there are many ways in you by which a man can prosper. Outside salary now. You think I live by offering? How much is the offering first? You know, a man can give you a car gift. When you put together how much fuel you buy in a year, you will see that the day you jump, praise that they have given me a car, you should come down. <laughs> huh? Brazil, the amount we have spent on diesel is more than the amount we use in buying a generator. How can man I have a generator? And someone gifted us with the tank. Say, wow. Which is easier? To gift you a tank or to fill it with? <laughs> While all of you are sleeping, I'm a wise pastor. I wake up. Father, I can't be disgraced. If my people learn what is soon. Some of you will watch, you know, on Monday, you watch Chelsea, you are happy. 6 0, you, you go back. Mm -mm. While, while men slept, I wake up. Because everything rises and falls on leadership. Sir, sir, if we come to service, and even if somebody says I was led to buy it, it means something is working. Because you must have to be led. If something is not working for someone, he only desires to help in giving for the generator. It's only a wish. Huh? Wish I can just support. That means you don't have it. You know, they tell me, you know, you come, and it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it has not started. When we came in here, you just have few cars. Now they say on Sundays, you park down to that place. I said, no. No, 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 no. Down to that place. Lord, that's not what we agreed. Our agreement is that we park like this, park like this, park like this, park like this, park. Then get to the road. Then they will not call us. Until they call us, we must not keep quiet. Until they say, the calling is, what is the problem? We will not start answering. When I said the problem is for the now, we want to get the whole place and turn it into a car park. Kilo Shele, Oguni. God has blessed us. Are you getting what I'm saying? Some of us came trekking. Today you are rolling something. That thing you are rolling, you will soon sow it. Because you are going to get something bigger. But I'm showing you the secret. Your prosperity is in your meditation. Your prosperity. Your prosperity. The secret of your own personal prosperity. Your own secret. Your own secret. Oh, on Sunday we thought about, the topic was what? Turned into another man. I didn't finish it. Maybe by the grace of God on Sunday. I will now show you how you are turned. Chebi said the Holy Spirit will come upon you, right? I will now show you something. A branch of the Holy Spirit that turns you into that part he wants you to become.
They said a spirit of excellence dwells in certain people. Huh? Ah. There's something you will see. In your meditation lies the secret of your prosperity. If every believer knows this, then something. Do you know one thing? When you begin to meditate, something happens. You hear a voice or you see something that will tell you. Begin to preserve this money or don't fail your tithe. The secret has started. It's personal now. Only you know. I know how Proverbs 3 ministered to me many years ago when you were not there. None of you were there. It was a personal revelation. Born out of deep meditation. I will show you. The Hebrew word for that meditate is Hagar. 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 H-A-G-A-R. Hagar. Hagar has many synonyms. To mutter. To roar. To speak. To shout, to teach. There are many things, many synonyms. To think through in process. The best place to practice, if this word is truly going to work or if it's working, is in the place of what? Absentness. There is nothing. Where there is nothing with you. Uh -huh. You now say, hey, hey, Lord, this is the best place now. Because now, physically speaking, I don't have anything. Let me now see if truly this thing works. Because the only thing you have is the Bible. There are pastors. Some of you, if you truly know me, there are ministers who have certain people they pray for so that they can bless them. Ask everybody that knows me. The only time I call you for prayer is when I'm led by the Spirit to say pray for this person. Whether you are poor, rich, bilonia, is none of my business. As long as I am not led, there's no order of words. We are done. You are telling me what you are telling me. I said, okay, I'll get back. I drop it. They know. Many of you might not. One of the Sundays, a mortar billionaire walked in here to see me. Sat down. How are you all? Huh? I introduced him. I didn't know you were the one. I didn't know you came to see me. How are you? How can I, what can I do for you? Probably he might be watching now or something. And he told me what he was led by God to do. And I told him I would get back. Until today. He told the person who brought him and said, this is the only, this one is the first man of God I will see that turned down what I said. And when the person was speaking to me, he said, I perceive in my spirit that this is how he gets many men of God to his side. Because I, I said, there is something strange in his words when he spoke those words. It didn't gel. It didn't just, it didn't sit. Until date. If it didn't gel. Okay, gel. <laughs> did, you get, did you get what I'm saying now? <laughs> it didn't gel. <laughs> so the hair cannot relax. <laughs> and he's, then he sent a message called, the man of God, I'm still with I say, the, the Lord has not given a word. This is how many people mix things. He would have just said it, and he would just say, oh, he will give you something. Then you now start prophet lying. He will regard you as one of them. Tell your neighbor, get class, because your God get class. Hmm? Did you get what I said? Get class. It is true that it is men that God will use. But no, sir. It is my meditation that carries my prosperity. It is in the meditation that I see what he wants me to do. 
Then I begin to observe those things and act according to what I saw in my observation. He says, then you make your way prosperous. Put it there. Not only do you prosper by your meditation, you succeed by your meditation. Not by the many customers or clients you have, but how much time you spend meditating. Vivian, I hear him. I know why I called your name. You sit. Look at it. For thou shalt make thy way. I thought it's God. He says you make your way prosperous. And then you shall have good success. By what? Meditating. Do you know why? Because in the place of meditation, your eyes are open. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. Your eyes are open. Your eyes are open. You just begin to see things. And the prescription is day and what? Night. So you walk in the afternoon. The prescription is day and what? Night. Day, you, you, you single yourself out. You take out time, carve out a particular time. Where, while others are sleeping, you wake up. And you take, I'm going to show you because it is the book of the law there. That is the Old Testament. When it comes to the new, we don't, it's not the book of the law. It's the word of God. So that's what I'm showing you now. It becomes the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A good example, Job chapter 27 verse number 4. Amen, amen. Woo, Sheila Banto. Job 27. Verse 4. My lips, I told you, the Hebrew word is Hagar. Hagar. And Hagar means a lot of things. It carries many synonyms. I told you, one of them is to murmur. What did he say? I wasn't talking to you, Jerry. To murmur in pleasure or in anger. To ponder, to imagine, to mourn, to mutter, to roar, to speak, to study, to talk, to utter. All of these things are synonyms found under the word meditation. In Job chapter 27 verse 4, you know what it says? My lips shall not speak wickedness. My tongue utter, 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 deceit, utter. The word utter there is from the Greek Hebrew word hagar, utter. To alter something. It says my lips shall not speak wickedness. Nor my tongue. Can I tell you what it means by your lips not speaking wickedness? Do you know when you say I'm poor, you just spoke wickedness. You are wicked. You have altered wickedness. You can never, you should never say I am poor. I am broke. More, more cre. See? <laughs> you see all those things you, that you are trying to make someone more cre by You just uttered wickedness because you are trying to let God know that he has, not a, he has not done a good work in you. Jesus told them, even though he knew that Lazarus was there, he said he's sleeping. It was when the people didn't understand, he said, don't die. Said, eh? They made him say, they made him speak wickedness. Hey, what is that? Ah, I have headache. Is your personal property? <laughs> Hello? Is somebody with me? Tap your neighbor. What do you have? <laughs> hey, I, hey, what is that? <laughs> Some of you laugh because of this and that. If something happened to you, they talk, you just start laughing. Hey, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> he said, I don't have anything, you know. <laughs> what is that? What is that? <laughs> Lord, the pastor said, when they speak, we get this. <laughs> I don't want to speak, we get this. <laughs> but something they do me, they do me. What do you mean? <laughs> ah, Proverbs 8, 7. You have so spoken to the point. Five broad, 
the, the thing has grown. You say, this is my fibroid. You know? It's your fibroid. <laughs> and you went to the doctor to remove your fibroid. Proverbs 8, 7. For my mouth shall speak truth. And wickedness is an abomination to my lips. Lift your right hand and say, this is my portion. Don't say, ah, I am 38, oh, I never marry. You just spoke wickedness. You just spoke wickedness. Somebody wake up, look at him and say, hey, see, as old age, they finish me. See what in me at old age they do. <laughs> Proverbs 15. Go to chapter 15. 15, 28. Are you with me? Proverbs 15, 28. The heart of the righteous studied to answer. The word studied is what? Haga. Study it. That means you don't speak quickly. You study to answer. Don't say I give him woto woto. Mm. Woto woto is the, is the inability to study before you answer. You calm down. A wise man is calm before he answers. Some of you have as, I, 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 I seen the land. He never land. Now I give us it. I give us it a heart. <laughs> Check that in where you gear as they they gear as they hot. Check that in you gear as they hot. Look at verse twenty eight. The heart of the righteous stood here to answer, but the mouth of the wicked poureth out evil things. Hey hey, my mouth no good. Oh, if I pour, if I pour, no pour. Study to what answer. The word study at this haga. Chapter 24, verse 2. Are you learning? 24, verse 2. It says, For their heart studied destruction, and their lips talk of mischief. Jeremiah 48, 31. Jeremiah 48, 31. What you do not know is that in this life, you shall have what you say. Be saying it. Jeremiah 38, 48, sorry, 31. Therefore will I hoa for Moab, and I will cry out for all Moab. My heart shall mourn for the men of Kiharis. My heart shall mourn. The word mourn there, mourn there, is from the same Hebrew word Hagar. Luke 21, 14. Luke 21, 14. Luke 21, 14. Settle it therefore in your heart, not to meditate before what you shall answer. Don't meditate before what you shall answer. He says, I will put words in your mouth. I will put words in your mouth. First Timothy chapter 4, 15. I'm showing you scriptures so we understand this. First Timothy 4. Meditate upon these things. What are the things? Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them. That your gain, your gain, your profit may appear to all. That means when people begin to see the profit and they ask you, my brother, show me the way. Tell them it's the way of meditation. The way of meditation. The way of meditation. And speaking the right thing in the place of meditation. The way of meditation. The way of meditation. So we don't meditate on this book of the law. Like Joshua 1, 8 says. It says this book of the law. That is not the, what we meditate on. We meditate on the word, the word of God. What is the difference? Hebrews 4, 12. Hebrews 4, 12. Thank you, Jesus. 
For the word of God is quick. <laughs> and powerful. And sharper than any two-edged sword. Piercing even to the divider. Dividing asunder. Which means the word of God is a scanner. Another translation says, is quick and living. So when you begin to meditate it, that thing you are meditating is alive. You might not know. Like I told you the other time, when you take paracetamol, you don't see anything. You just, it's just a wise chalk. You put it. But that thing begins to look for headache. It begins to. His anger is when he finds the cause of headache. When you take the word of God, and begin to meditate inside. The word of God is looking for your challenges. He's angry. Can you see that we are the reason for our problem? We haven't given time to the word. And we are blaming Pastor Bini. Once this service ends now, it all ends. He said, I ain't not doing one. More they go. <laughs> Biggie, they hear us. I said, well, we already dragged their feet. He got to see me, Fenaya. I bought a gig, me, me, on it, me, me, me. Hey, who's your man? Pastor Okuta, eh? Oh, Tom Jaja. He's going home, oh. That soup where the men will go warm up. Now we go chop this. <laughs> The next day, you just put gas. Shh. Start warming the soup. You knock fufu by after 10. <laughs> then the next day, you drink water. Four sachet water. You now start burning. Uh, 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 uh. The next, any available space, whether Nepal do, no, never. You'll be hearing, uh oh, uh oh. These are the people you say to meditate day and night. <laughs> they will do that thing, no. The next thing, yes. Seven thirty. Hey, I go go up. Then they will now come on Sunday and say, Pastor, I need prayer. You need prayer. Tell two people you need prayer. You need prayer. <laughs> so aside from maybe when you face issues, the meditation of the word, getting scriptures to meditate upon, when we talk about meditating on the word, the word of God is 66 books. 66 books. Huh? Do you know how many authors? Spanning between what time frame? 1,500? Three different languages? This book is big, man. So when you talk about meditating on the word, where do I meditate? What part do I meditate? Because I need to give you the part to meditate. Are you with me? So that you know what to meditate upon. And begin to derive solutions from them. Number one. Meditate on his love for you. Romans 8, 28. His love for you. Can I tell you something? This thing I just said now is not popular in Africa. You know the one that is popular in Africa? Do you love God? Do you love God? Do you love God? You need to love God. <laughs> Sir, 
I was lost. The average African man does not know how to love. We mistake romance for love. Rounding round a tree. We think that is love. No, sir. Until the Greek came and told us there are four kinds of love. So I don't know the way of love. And this, I get stoned for this. Each time I talk about this, people stone me. Because that's what we're taught. You must love the Lord. Father, I love you. Start crying. That's your cry? You want to bribe God, emotional blackmail, to make him say, oh. Mm-mm. God is not a man that has judged you. So he's not moved by that thing. You know, the, the, the one that was in it, it says you must love the Lord with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your soul. I don't know all my mind. How do I measure all? The problem is the all. If I know how all of my heart works and where I can wait, I, I think I can give it to God. If I know how all of my mind and my soul work, how many, you, there's nobody in the history of the world, nobody except one. Then he came and said, hearing his love, this is love, that he first loved us. He showed us how and told us, don't practice, just step in. I love you, Lord, for your mercy. You see, you, see, you are still looking for mercy. After you told him you love him, Jesus now came and said, greater love, which means there are lesser, lesser love. Love has degree. He said, greater love has no man than this, that a man should give his life. Oh, that's the highest. So if you love the Lord with all your heart and with all your soul and with everything, you should give him yourself. That means you should say, Lord, just kill me. And you know why, you, 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 if, if truly you want to die like that, you should not cry. <laughs> you just say, I, I die for the Lord. Hey, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> but yet, we do not understand love. It says that women know the breadth, the height, the width, and the length of it. How do I measure it? This, this is what I keep asking people. And most men of God preach that. Watch this. Uh -uh. Romans 8, 28. Uh, we'll stay on this. Meditate on his love for you. For you. Not the one you. Look at it. And we know that all things will work together for good. To them that love God. You see? So when, when things are not working, they say maybe you don't love God. But sir, I do. <laughs> Is there anybody here you don't love the Lord? It's hard you find anybody who tell you, I don't love God. We all love God. But somebody will not say, I love God more than you. Say, how do you know? How do you know? For God so loved the world that he gave. You know what God wants you to do? When you sit down, meditate on his love for you. For while we were yet sinners, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Stay on that one. Stay on that one. You know, how many of you know that guy that sings, Victor Thompson? You know, when he starts singing, he say, let's stay on this one. This is the in song. Let's just stay on this. He will just stay there. And he will say, listen, don't try to say you love him too much. Because that's the problem with us. And the more we fail him, we say our love is not enough. 
But when you now understand, meditate on his own law for you, you discover that where you are weak, he's strong. You just stay there. Father, you love me. I thank you. Do you know why you died? Because you saw my face, you loved me. What would I have, what did I do to deserve this kind of love? Your loving him does not improve him. You see the worst thing? Your loving him does not affect him. But when you meditate on his love for you, you know what will happen to you? You will just discover you are drawing, you're taking from him. You're not going to say the reason things are not working for me is because I don't love God. No, sir. No, sir. I stayed on that. I stayed on that. I stayed on that. Meditate on his love for you. Do you know why you're still breathing? Because he loves you. Don't say it's because you love him. I say your love does not put anything in his account. Your loving God does not make him rich. That I love the Lord. You know now, because I've loved him, Lord, $50,000 for your account. Well, where? You don't change. It doesn't change him. But when you meditate on his love, do you know what it will do for you? Number one, it gives you boldness. Can I tell you what it looks like? It's like traveling with a uniform man, a military uniform man. Do you know the fear of an army uniform is the beginning of wisdom? You don't need to invite your uncle, hang his clothes in front of your car. Police just say. <laughs> You're going out, let's say with your girlfriend, and it's a danger place. And you know, you just wore <laughs> a uniform <laughs> and they are taught there. Do you notice that those days when you enter these buses, once they get to show, they say uniform man, they let them go. So some of them will park somewhere to look for a uniform man. Because taught will respect them. When you meditate on God's love for you, the one he has for you. It gives you boldness to know that your father will not deny you anything. Do you know that Satan is not supposed to remind you that you have sinned? Because sin is a family issue. Your spirit picks it and says you have done something wrong. And it's your father that has customized it to look, to walk like that. So all you need to do is to just say, Father, I messed up. I'm sorry. And you move on. Satan should not come and say, you will not enter that gate. You know why? You know why? You know why? You are here. All you are here is, you know why? You know why? He say, why? <laughs> See the way you are partnering with Satan. The Lord said, when I come, I should stay on number one and just tell you, to stay on that. Meditate on that. And know that he's not going to deny you anything. If you have not gotten that thing, it's not because your father is denying it. No. It's because there's something you haven't learned. And the moment you grow to that thing, you take it. It is your father good way to give you the kingdom. Can you see? To give you. But you know one thing? God will not give you the kingdom and lose you. 
No matter how much you love your two-year-old, three-year-old son, you cannot give me a real gun. Are you with me? You know, Sister Vivian there now might just be saying, Lord, I want to work for you. I want to sing in stadium. God knows that if you take Sister Vivian right now and put her in a crowd of 50,000, give her the mic to minister, she'll start crying. Bah, oh go. <laughs> they will say, ah. <laughs> Oluwa, Oluwa. You will not know your voice. They say, I want so well. The more you look, people are saying, woo. That's why a best player in training. Eh? Your best player in the training pitch might fumble when you give him. When it comes to read, you, 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 think, you think it's a, a joke? They say 60,000 sitter. You look at the team. Eh? 95% are against you because you traveled. Only 5% ticket given to you. The other 55 are against and you want to play penalty. They say, Ooh! <laughs> They don't give it to the best penalty taker. Mm, they give it to the calmest. The one who is matured. Not the one who knows how. Mm, the one who, because you may know how. And you hear, oh, you say, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> But the one who is, just stay like this. Ha. Even the keeper will just come. Oh! And some will be so bold to tell you, is he I will play it. No matter what you see here. <sighs> and he dress back. And he ends there. Pam. And he scores. Such people, when they finish, the goalkeeper will go and hug them. And they will tell you, truly, this guy is a penalty taker. But your best player. And he's looking at the crowd. They are, ooh, say. You will not know. You will, you will just tell the keeper, take a, <laughs> make a rest. The keeper will just collect her. You just, at least make a rest. So when you see someone, this is what happens when your father tells you, I am with you. You say, what? God comes and says, I am with you. Fear not. Something, it gives you an energy, a boldness that is beyond anything. You just keep going because you know that he is with you. This is what meditating on his love does for you. It gives you this vibe to keep going, to keep going, to keep going, to know that he is with you. He loves me. Do you know the first temptation what did the devil say? If you are the son of God. That's not complete. Go to where it was quoted. It says if you are the beloved son of God. He took away beloved. Every time the devil wants to attack you. To tempt you. He wants you to see yourself as not being loved. Because when you know you are loved. You know you have the power to turn stones into bread. I'm loved. Do you know why Solomon was different? When he was born, the prophet, God told the prophet, he said his name shall be called Solomon, for he is my beloved. That's why the guy married, he just did this stupid. They spent, they spent. Solomon was telling, I'm the wisest, no one is like me. So loved. Do you know why? Because his father, God said, I have found myself a David, a king after my heart. And I have, he says, I have lavished him with my everlasting love. That when David sinned, God left him and was killing people. Meditate on his love for you. Forget you loving him first. Meditate on his love. Then it will now be vice versa. Yes. Because you are strengthened first when you know he loves you. Children don't struggle to enter their father's room because they know they are loved. Any child that is struggling to enter 
does not know. He's having an identity crisis. He's not sure whether he's loved. Let's stay on this one. Meditating on his love for you. Can he deny you? Can he deny you something good? Your father that loves you? No. 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 A boy cried. He said, Daddy, 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 <laughs> why are you crying? The mommy did not give me biscuits. Biscuits? Don't worry, I'll buy you carton. Mm. You sit down with the father. Because he knows that the father will not lie. You buy me a carton. Did they deny you anything? Has your friend gone ahead of you? Do you have friends who have given better not? Tonight, just cherish his love and leave the rest. We're just going to stay on that and say, Lord, he loves me. I cannot say why. He loves me. I cannot say why. He died on the cross to save my soul. He loves me. I cannot say why. You like that? He loves us. We cannot say why. We cannot say why. On Calvary, he died on the cross. He loves me. I cannot say why. It's just the only. You said it took something from you. You lost something. You don't know God. For God has not given us the spirit of fear. But of love. Of power. And of a sound mind. And you know one thing? Of love. For love covers the multitude of sin. Where there is love, he does not behold iniquity among Zion. He does not. People don't know love. It's not this kind of love we practice, you know. If this is the way you father me, I love the way you father me. It's not this one we practice, you know. This is our own. There, there are. <laughs> it says you don't have the license to divorce any woman except for adultery. When you when she's caught, right? She has cheated, so you can. But Jesus came and said it was not so from the beginning. It was not so. Because we have all cheated God, but he didn't divorce us. If this is the way you father me, say it. I love the way you father me. <laughs> oh, Meleka Suta Prate. Why don't you stand on our feet and just... Tell him that I love this. If, if this is what love is. If this is what is defined as love. Tell him now. If this is the way you father me. Tell him say. I love the way you father me. Give things. You know what? This is. We are going to so dwell on his love for us. Meditating on his love for us. If before you sleep. Instead of binding the devil and say well. If, if I die so that I will go to heaven no 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 you just stay on this father you are too good I'm your loving daughter I'm your loving son you cannot withhold anything good from me oh Jesus come and lift your hands I love the way you find if this is the way if this is the way I love the way you follow me. If this is the way you follow me, I love the way. Can we leave those?
those hands. Lift those hands. If this is the way, I love the way. Sing it. If this is the way, I love the way. But if this is the way, but I love the way. Lift your hands and shout it. If this is the way, I love the way. I can't hear you. But if this is the way, but I love the way. Tell him now, but if this is the way, but I love the way. Now hear this, cause there is no me without you. Can you see how it works? No me without me. There's no me. I can't hear you, but if there is no me, there is no me, there is no me, there's no me, no me, hey, there is no me, there is no me, no me, no me, there is 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 no me, no me I can't hear you shouting there is no me without you no 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 me I don't know what you are going through right now I don't know you are maybe you are in the midst of something why don't you lift your hands the love of your father he cannot allow that cancer to eat your mother up. He can't allow that diabetes to finish your system. It's not possible. Tell him, Lord, I know you love me. Your future is secured because he loves you. He knows. <laughs> It's because we have not focused on his love for us. We haven't meditated. He forgives your sins. He is. He forgives. He's our healer. He's our strengthener. <laughs> he will not deny you anything good. No, 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 no. Stay on that, stay on that, stay on that. Let's stay on that. There is no me. There is no me. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, me without you. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's not about my life. It's all about Oh, it's all about Tell him, tell him your involvement is not there. Come on, it's all about you. I can't hear you. It's all about you. It's not about my life. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's not about my life. Your future is secured. Come on, it's all about you. It's all about you. It's not about my life. Not about my strength. Not about. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's not about my life. Hey. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's not about my life. Hey. Hear this. 
There is no me, no me without, without you. No me without you. Too. No me no, no, without. No, no, without you. Somebody help me sing it. There is no me, no me without. No, 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 no me. me. No, 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 no me There is no me without you, Lord. I said there is no me. No, 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 no. Lift your two hands. No me without you. No, no, no. Now, just clap for your hands for Jesus. No, we can do better to so your loving father, your lover, your lover, and your maker. With that, knowing that, you can tell him, Kile Ole She, Olorumi, Kile Ole She. Kile ole she alaru mi kile ole she kile ole she alaru mi kile ole she hey tale o jula alaru mi tale o jula. Taleo Julo, Taleo Julo, Alaro me, Taleo Julo. Hey, Taleo le bawi, Alaro me, Taleo le bawi. Hey, Taleo le bawi, Alaro me, Taleo le bawi. Parata na masetele. Tale o jula. Tale o jula. Tale o jula. Shubare mare o eh eh Shubare mare o Hear me Hey Shubare mare o eh eh Ah Alonu to she yi o I can't hear you 
Jesus to I say you Jesus to I say you Olorun to se yi o Osubarere Osubare o Two more time Come on Oh Olorun to se yi o Osubare o Osubare o one more time. Oh, Allah, don't let me We just love you and we celebrate. We just love you, we celebrate. We just love you. We thank you. We just love you. We just love you. Lift your hands. If not for you, we would have today. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I want to see those hands lifted. If not for you, Jehovah. Come on. Giftings. Come on. If not for you, where would I say the bombra da la casqueta? Thank you, Jesus. Who would have saved my life? Who would I save my life? Tell him now, everybody. If not for you, Jehovah. Say la brate do gosqueta. Can we shout it now? We say, Agame, One more time. Ba, 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 ba. Shira la makis kala la la la. If not for you, we say Jehovah. For you, but Omega, we celebrate it. This is the best time to take your seed and give right now. Take that seed, we're going to plant it. I see number here, I'm on the room, before number. Asi namba ya amandi rome bofu namo Asi namba ya amandi rome bofu namo Asi namba ya amandi rome bofu namo Dambo ko bido Dambo na 
take your seat, just come and blend them. Take your offerings, take your thighs. Come and lay them. Come on, come on. When you name my Eden, my Hear me. Woke me in the boat. One area to the Chile came in the mouth. Woke me in the boat. One area to the she Chine me Praise God celebrate him Now, this one announcement, then we go home. Concerning the inter-cell crusade, um, I expect that by now, um, cells will begin to um, close by cells. The ones that are very close, except for the ones that are very far, um, should begin to meet together now as per how um, they should go about their inter-cell crusade coming up next month. Um, for instance, um, cells around Fadi Yaba, and the last I should be able to come together. And the purpose is for, it's for soul winning, to evangelism. It's not for showmanship or self. It's not to prove that I have more grace or I'm more eloquent. It's for us to come together because one shall chase a thousand and two shall put 10,000 to flight. So when we come together and do something huge, it's, it vibrates. Is that okay? So we should expect 
that souls um, cells now should begin to match themselves and say, okay, um, we are coming together. Like I told you, we're going to have a card. Um, first timers are going to put down their names and address, so by which the ones that are coming from the different places will be taken and follow up should commence immediately. Hold the hand of someone it's time to go home. Um, I pray that all that you have received, you will not lose them. The God of peace will keep you. May he cause his face to shine on you. May he bless the fruit of your body. Amen. Blessed shall you be in, the, in your going out. Amen. Blessed shall you be in your coming in. Amen. The word of God that you have heard today will produce vital results. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you Father. In Jesus name. Amen. The grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now forever in Jesus name. Surely. Open your two hands. Say with me loud and clear. Money come to me now. Again, money come to me now. Again, money come to me now. The end of the day for the Lord is good. For the Lord is good. For the Lord is good. Hold the hand of someone. When I say give things, you say bringing out the gift. Please, as we are going, um, be careful. Um, someone called and was complaining at that around this um, particular bus stop how lonely it is most times, and you can find some of these boys that are very. So that's why when we come for midweek service, we try to go on time, and it's the reason why many don't attend the midweek service because going back is usually difficult. But the Lord is helping us. Give things. Give things. Give things. Help me hug someone. Say, I love you. God bless you. Please, um, if you find...